right guys, the living room is clean once more. <laughs> and as you can see, a lot of people ask, they say, aren't your dogs scared of the vacuum? And they're not. I mean, they don't want it right by them by no means, but I think they're used to me vacuuming all the time that they're not scared of the vacuum. Milo was a little bit when he was a puppy and now he could care less. Yes, so I got a couple of packages. Um, so I thought I'd um, share them here. What do you want? What do you want? You don't want this. This will cut you. This will cut you. Yes. Um, I think a couple are from companies who um, sent me some product to try out and do a review on. Um, so anyways, let's get to it. I don't want to cut this with that. Yeah, so I have to um, take Milo and Mozzie to the vet at 2 o'clock. It's 12.18 right now in the afternoon. Oh, my goodness. Oh, here we go. Here we go. It's starting to rip. What is this, boys? See if there's a note. It looks like bows. It looks like some bows. Like, uh, they are. See who this is from. says um, Elizabeth, has the name Elizabeth on it, so I'm thinking these are from Elizabeth. Please comment down below and let me um, know who sent this. Okay, look at these. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> these are so cute. They're little bow ties, you guys. A whole package of them. Look at this one. They look like little schnauzers on there, don't they? They're so cute. I'm going to have to take their photos in these. There's one with, um, what are these? Like little teddy bears? There's owls. There's... Like a paisley. There's another couple that look like little schnauzer dogs. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. I'm going to have to put these on the boys and take their photo. Oh my goodness, thank you. If, if, if these are from Elizabeth, that's the name that's on there. Thank you so much. These are so cute. There's a whole package of them. <laughs> I thought these were going to be... Um, I thought this was a package from a company who is sending me some other style booties to try. I'm so surprised. Thank you so much. I love them. They're so cute. I can't wait to put them on them and uh, take their picture. <laughs> I've, I've um, browsed on Amazon little ties and bows like this before, but I've never bought them, so thank you so much. Okay. And I will definitely, um, when I take a photo, post it on my Facebook and my Instagram page. Let me see, Mazzy. Let me see. Oh, yes, you're going to look so handsome. Yes, you are. Oh, my goodness. So cute. And it doesn't have a way to uh, uh, send a thank you back, so thank you so much. Okay. Now, this one is from out of country. I'm not sure which country. Someone told me, sent me a message or a comment that they were going to send me a calendar. Ireland. It's from Ireland. Um, a calendar um, that helps support rescues in Ireland. So here it is. And her name is Lisa. Thank you so much. Beautiful schnells are on there. Oh my goodness. I wonder if these are pictures of the dogs who have been rescued. 
Here's the February one. Thank you so much. I think there's something else in here too. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see if there's a note or anything. I think there is. It says, hi, Kim, Chanel's your mom. So sorry it took me, it's so sorry it took so long to mail this. There's a small treat for the, <coughs> the mailman. No, <coughs> hey, Magna, it's okay. It's just the mailman, he comes every day. So sorry it took so long to mail this. There's a small treat for the boys and you in here too. Thanks for the videos. They make me smile always. Lisa, uh, Gray, and Bailey Schnauzer's, Schnauzer mom. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. Okay, let's see the treats in here, guys. Ooh, Irish caramels. I love caramels. And then these are called Pet Munchies Natural Dog Treats. Sushi Training Treats, hmm. You want to try one out, Magnum? You want to try one out? Let's see here. Yes, I know. I think they could smell this. I got this package yesterday, but I wanted to wait until I got these other ones because I knew they were coming. Because um, I have that informed delivery mail service that tells me when things are coming. Um, this ain't working. Hold on. And I think they could smell these in the package. They get sniffing. Ooh, they are a strong scent. What are these made out of? Of course, I can't hardly read it because I don't have my glasses on. Let me show you what they look like. Hold on, guys. Let me go show our friends what they look like. Hold on. Yes. Okay. Here's the packaging. I know it's uh, got a glare on it. Here's what they look like. And they really strong smell. These will be great for my um, container that's by the back door on my little refrigerator for when I'm blowing the whistle, which is working great, you guys. I am so excited about it. Um, these are perfect little pieces, so when I blow that whistle, they come running and they can get a little treat. And let me tell you, I blow that whistle, um, the big door is open, but the screen door with the glass window is shut, and they can hear that even when I'm in the kitchen blowing that. So I'm so excited about that. So yeah, these will be perfect for that little treat container. Please don't bite my finger off. Please don't bite my finger. Minky's always good. Yes, Minky, you're always good boy. You like those? Yeah, those are going to be your treat. Hey, you be nice to him. You be nice. Those would be great for the back, uh, the back door treats. I call them the back door treats. <laughs> let me try a caramel. Let me have a treat. Yes, let me have a treat to try. Oh, these are mama's treats. These are my treats. Ooh, Irish caramel. They're a darker color. They got chocolate. Mmm. Those are good. Let me show you guys. Oh my gosh, those are really good. Mmm. Oh, they're really good. Thank you so much. Okay. Let's open up this last package. <laughs> you want another one of those treats? I'm pretty sure this is from a company. This came straight to my house. Sorry, I'm talking with a caramel in my mouth. This came, uh, they needed my home address. Uh, not sure why. They could send it to my P.O. box. Oh my gosh. That is so good. Yes. This is a, um, 
uh, like a water fountain, a pet bowl. Let me show you. Here we go. That's if I wanted to try it out, do a review, and I said, sure, why not? So this will be coming up soon, a review on this. Let's open it up and see how big it is. Can you get down? Can you get down? Can you go? <laughs> He's like, I know those treats are around here somewhere. Where are they? I was wondering how big it was gonna be. Let's open this up. Milo! Milo! Don't you dare! Don't you dare, you little stinker. So I'm going to have to figure this out and do a review on it. So be looking for a review on this probably, I don't know if I'll do it Friday or next week. I'm not sure. Um, hopefully those uh, different booties come soon too. Because they look very interesting. They're a lot different than um, what you usually see for dog boots. So I'm really interested in trying those out. Okay, so that is our packages. Thank you again to Lisa and thank you to Elizabeth or whoever may have sent those doggy bow ties. I love them. They're adorable. So let me put this stuff up and I've got to, I got to wash Mozzie's beard because his beard is looking, it's looking terrific guys. Terrific bed beard. <laughs> I haven't brushed their beard yet since they gotten up. So I'm going to wash Milo and Mozzie's beards. Mozzie is going to get his rabies shot and his dog license no 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 you can't have those and i'm gonna have them look at his um remember you guys i told you he had like a cyst or something um on his chest area um not high it's not high up but it's not on his stomach it's kind of in between so i don't think it's gotten any bigger but I'm going to ask them um, how much it would cost to get that removed because I've noticed a lot of people who've talked about theirs, sometimes they rupture and stuff, and I don't want to have to deal with that. So if it isn't too much to just get it removed and it'll be safe, you know, it won't bother him too much um, to get it removed, I think I'm going to see about getting it, getting it removed. I don't know. We'll see. Um, and then Milo is going just to get... <laughs> As soon as I said his name and I moved this, he jumped. <laughs> he did a little jump, like, ooh, treat. Um, he's going just to get a heartworm test, uh, some blood work. So he's doing good. No problems there. Yes, you just need to get a blood, you've got to get some blood work done. Yeah. So I need to wash both their beards because they're looking a little crazy. But I want to wait until I feed them at 1 o'clock because um, they'll just get them messy again when they eat. So, yeah, you like those? These are gonna for sure make them come running when I blow that whistle. Oh yeah, you guys really liked those, didn't you? I wish I could see. I wonder if they're made out of fish. Let me go get my glasses. Okay, sorry guys, I had to do a pet, pet mom moment there. Chicken breast, 21%. Vegetable glycerin, and then some other stuff. Let's see if it tells. Um, 
can't see where it tells the fat. Crude oils and fat, 1.5%. Or is that 15%? Again, <laughs> my low. You, and you stop growling at people. Nobody's getting anything. I think it says 1.5%. So that ain't too bad if it's only 1.5% fat. That's really good. Looks like they actually tell you on these ones from Ireland exactly what the fat is. Not a minimum fat and not a maximum fat. They tell you exactly what it is. Yeah, so these are some good treats. Thank you so much again. Oh, right down here, white fish and chicken breast. <laughs> and big enough to where I could read it. Oh my goodness, you guys. It's not, it's been one of those days. It feels like a Monday today. It's been one of those days. Okay, so I'm gonna feed them here in a little bit and I'm gonna wash their beards and we're gonna go to the vet. I'll let you guys know what they say when we get back. Hey guys, we are back from the vet. We are in the grooming room because my daughter's out in the living room uh, working on some real estate, online real estate courses. Um, she's gonna get her real estate license so she can uh, work a little bit with her dad and learn the real estate business so yes wait you sniffing my breath I was yeah I was chewing some gum I was chewing some gum okay so we took Mozzie and Milo to the vet <coughs> excuse me Mozzie got his three-year dog license he has three years rabies shot and Milo got checked for uh, heartworm he was negative I also picked up some heartworm uh, for the dogs and the cats since the first is coming up soon here. And today's bill was $181.74 um, for all that. And like I said, we were checking um, to see how much it would cost to get the um, cyst on Mozzie removed. And, <coughs> excuse me, long story short, she also, noticed Mozzie has some tartar buildup and a mild case of gingivitis. Um, so she said if we were gonna get the cyst removed, we should probably do it all together, it would be cheaper. Um, just to get the cyst removed, let me see here. I think it's this one. They kind of printed us up some estimates. Just for the cyst removal would be estimated, low estimate would be $400, a high estimate would be $500, just to remove that cyst. And then the, uh, so if we did the cyst and the teeth all together, let's see here, um, low total would be $749, high total would be $936. So for $400 more, we could get everything done at the high end, which it seems like every time we get an estimate, we always fall on the high end <laughs> total. So um, we're thinking about it. She said the teeth are not that bad right now. We could hold off. Um, the cyst, I guess cysts can rupture. They can be a problem, and if you let them go too long, if they get bigger, it's harder to take care of them. So I'm thinking since his teeth his teeth are good at a mild case of gingivitis, I doubt it'll stay mild. I'm sure it's probably going to get worse as time goes on because um, Mozzie is not a chewer like the other boys. She did say his back teeth looked a lot. They looked great compared to the front teeth, which she was surprised. She said it's usually the other way around. But um, I think from eating the bully sticks and chews, it's helped his back teeth. But he's not really one to like bite with his front teeth on chews. And he doesn't eat chews a lot like the other boys do. So I'm thinking his teeth are going to have to get done sooner or later, right? And since he's going to be under anyways, we might as well get that cyst removed and not have to worry about it maybe later on down the road. So yeah, my husband and I all have to talk about it, but that's what my emergency fund is for, for big price items like this. Now, because I've been saving it so long and I've been so happy to be building it, it's hard to spend it, but it's gotta be done, right? I mean, that's what it's there for. 
So, um, I guess we will um, probably get it scheduled. I'm not sure exactly when we'll schedule it for. Um, we shall see, and I will let you guys know. So, I'm probably just going to do everything and get it done. And just have the big old bill. It's going to be a big bill either way. Big bill either way. So, yeah, those, pr those prices just like... It's just, just like mind numbing, mind numbing. So yeah, so everything was good. I wanted to tell you guys, a lot of people want to know how big um, Milo is. He uh, weighed in at 15 point, you see, either 15.1 or 15.2. So, and when we took him to get neutered, he was 13.5 or 6. I can't remember. So he's gained quite a bit since he's gotten neutered. So I don't think he's going to be... Real big. I think he might end up being like Miggy's size. I'm not sure. Mozzie weighed in at 19.3. So, yeah. So, everything went good. They're doing good. Um, just got to get that scheduled, that surgery scheduled for Mozzie. I hate having to have them have surgeries, but... And Mozzie's not a good one for when he goes under. Um, he... When he gets comes out of it, he's very anxious and very stressed out. So, if you guys remember um, when he had his last teeth cleaning, when he had a lot of teeth pulled, I think it's been about three years now. I can't remember. Um, he had a problem with his he couldn't we couldn't get the bleeding stopped good because he kept smacking his like smacking his tongue against where the um, teeth got removed. Um, he was just, until I got him home and I could lay him next to me and really calm him down, he just, he was just not doing good. He was so anxious. So, yeah, so I'll let you guys know, um, when we're going to have it done and of course, um, keep you guys posted on that. So, all right, I'm going to end the video here and, um, we will talk to you guys soon and have a good day. Bye-bye.